Okay, so before I get the video started, if it isn't apparent already on what this video is going to be about, I just want to say as a full disclaimer, I don't like talking about these kinds of topics. I like to keep my channel as family friendly as possible and as non-politically affiliated, biased, or associated whatsoever. I don't, I don't want or like to talk about like things in the news or overly sensational things but if you're a TGSB high school student this is an important topic that may or may not affect you going into next year's 2021 to 2022 school year so without further ado as if the video title isn't obvious I'm gonna be discussing the concept called quad masters Yes, the mentally draining as well as physically draining school scheduling system that was brought about during this pandemic. Now, before I uh, get into this CBC article, which was written about a few days ago, the con I'll just explain what the concept of a semester, of a, sorry, not semester, but a quadmaster system is. So, essentially, the concept of a quadmaster, or at least on paper, was to ensure students get a quality education while making sure that we circumvent and stop the spread of COVID-19 during this trying time. So, uh, the TDSB introduced this concept called quadmasters as a response to the pandemic, and the way quadmasters work is they are supposed to make sure that, as I said before, students get a quality education. But the way they work is you have or you learn two subjects every two months. Now, on paper, that sounds like a brilliant idea. You do more in a lesser amount of time. And again, on paper, it, it sounds like you should because of you're doing more in less amount of time you should have more time to do things well as as if this as, as if this cbc um news article title wasn't you know obvious enough it, it is mentally and physically drained due to the fact that we have to do more in a lesser amount of time rather than sorry rather than have instead doing the same amount of work but over a longer period of time to grasp and make a conceptual understanding of the subject and and again this the just below the title it, this just tells you what quad masters are like it's learn it's like learning at warp speed if you're a high school student you can perfectly relate to this if you're in if you're in grade school then this really won't affect you because this is only a high school thing. I should have made that more obvious at the beginning, but this is a high school issue. So, uh, so the news article starts off with some secondary students in Canada's largest school board are calling for the elimination of quad masters, saying that the condensed schedules are leading to mental health issues and information overload for students. And as if I haven't made this obvious enough, this is because we're doing more in a lesser amount of time. I hate this quad master model because I love learning. And this model totally strips us students of that, says Hannah Cohen, a grade 11 student at Earl Hag Secondary School in New York. Now, uh, skipping forward a little, um, Hannah Cohen is um, uh, one, one of the first pe one of the first persons to really raise awareness and get the word out that quad masters are bad. They're mentally and physically draining, as mentioned in the CBC News article title, and and as well she made a gofundme sorry not gofundme that's the wrong one but a change.org petition which i will be linking into the description uh, below um feel free to sign it and spread the word about about this issue so 
moving onwards, Cohen, a senior in the school's dance program, says quad masters have been detrimental both academically and socially since they were implemented last year by the Ministry of Education to limit contact between students. She says that they've also disrupted the balance between social life and education that she says comes with regular semesters. Now, um, if you aren't a high school student, now I'll, I'll explain why this is the case. Due to the fact that you're doing more in a lesser amount of time, that means that instead of having things like tests and assignments spread out over a longer period of time, tests and assignments are are instead done at a more frequent pa uh, pace compared to a semester where there's tests but they're spread out over a longer period of time. And now uh, because of this, uh, students um, if they're either academically performing well or not, are literally on overdrive and on edge studying for hours every single night, which is, I mentioned in this paragraph again, disrupted the balance between social life and education due to the fact that the studying and schoolwork um, eats up a lot of that time. And if you were in a regular uh, semester, sure, some of, your, some of the time devoted to schoolwork will eat into your social time but compared to now, this is something that we haven't seen before. So again, moving on to the next paragraph. So when the Toronto District School Board TDSB announced on Wednesday that it would continue with the choir masters for secondary students for the 2021 to 2022 academic year, Cohen launched an online petition to fight it. Now, I'm not going to lie, the concept of a petition is kind of... I don't want to say overrated, but it's kind of now just become a cliche. Um, but but you, but you know what? Um, if it regardless if it's a cliche or not, it's it's gotten the word out and the job done. And um, if I go to change.org, yes, yeah, so this is a petition. TSB fight TSB families fight fight back against quads. Now there's about 3,500 uh, signatures, uh, about, about a day ago, so I think it was more like 3,000 signatures, so um, I think maybe within the next week or two we could uh, see numbers in the 4,000s, maybe if there's a, a new surge of uh, signatures, we could be at around uh, higher 4,000s, maybe the early uh, 5,000s, but you know, who knows, so anyways. Um, and so anyways, going to the next paragraph, Le learning quad masters mentally is mentally and physically draining, reads a petition to help TDSB families fight back, fight back against quads, which has racked up nearly 1,800 signatures of support as of, you know, May 14th, which is like three days ago, and man, continuing on with, uh, her side of the story, we are not able to properly learn and digest the information provided in our courses in such a brief period of time. Students are not learning, we are merely just memorizing the information, the petition says. The petition calls on the TDSB to adopt semesters for the upcoming school year. Now, I get it, quadmesters are not the ideal learning uh, system, but due to the fact that we're still in the middle of a pandemic, uh, there's not much else, but you know, who knows with the increasing vaccine counts, we could potentially see um, a possibility for semesters to come back, but that's solely um, based on if the Ministry of Health says we can have quadmesters, as well as a few other factors, which I won't mention because it on the surface, it seems simple, but when you really like, dive in into this rabbit hole, it gets real complicated real quickly. So I won't um, go much into that. Let me warp speed, and again, this is just uh, ex ex explaining and elaborating on why quad messes are bad. And this is the edu education consultant uh, that I mentioned earlier, Monica Frenchy. An education consultant based at Ottawa calls it learning warp speed because it puts a number, an enormous a uh, amount of pressure on the students to absorb a lot of content really quickly. Yada yada yada. I've mentioned this a billion times within the past few minutes, and 
And this is in, in response to the student's concerns uh, to over the quadrimester workload. A spokesperson for the TSB says that the amount of work isn't that different because the student is essentially learning two fewer courses at a time in a typical academic semester. Now, I have a problem with this statement alone. I don't think the spokesperson really understands the student situation. If he or she was a student and was experiencing what we're going through, um, I believe that this statement right here would have been different. But I, I'm not sure if this TDSB spokesperson is just uninformed or is just ignorant. Now, I don't, I don't want to be rude to the spokesperson as they're just trying to do their job, but I believe that if the spokesperson really, you know, what asks as a sample of students from X amount of high schools and really, un or really understood and comprehended the situation, I believe he or she would really understand the detrimental effects of this quadmaster, but, you know, it this is this is just a statement um and it's to be debated and and this is and these are two of the uh you know p persons who have really started this petition tsp families but against the quads and this is jason wong and hannah cohen and the article goes again to mention the essence of the quad master system is to cram much information together at once, according to Jason Wong. Now, yeah, the, yeah, the, I, I can, I can also agree and relate to uh, Mr. Wong, um, who is in grade eleven and the student is is the student body president at Earl Hag Secondary School, and. And it goes on, and it goes on to explain, uh, from another perspective, if on why quadmasters are bad. So, to summarize uh, this part right here, the reason why students are funny about quadmasters is if, let's just say, in a hypothetical scenario, they had two intense subjects. Let's just say math and science, right? In those two months, the student uh, is doing two very intense subjects. Um, and by intense, I mean it's time consuming because there's a lot of terms and information to memorize. Second of all, again, it's the quad masters are essentially learning at warp speed. And so when the teachers are blurting out this information and uh, and the schedule is going by real quickly, there's not enough time to comprehend, grasp, and make conceptual understandings. Where here, it's merely just memorization and memorize just enough information to pass the next test. That's literally the quadmasters. And this is more elaboration uh, from the TDSB. Uh, quadmaster is not great for some students. TDSB admits, and and in right here it just says, or in summary, the TSB acknowledges that the quad master model is not for everyone. There's a mixed reaction to it. We realize for some that the quad master model is not great, and we know that. However, we're taking direction from the Ministry of Education," said uh, TDSB spokesperson Ryan Bird. He says that the decision is about trying to keep people safe and. I understand his perspective, all right? Uh, his hands are tied up uh, regarding this situation. Um, it's really right now with the scheduling system, a careful balancing game where, where we want students to learn, but at the same time, we need to ensure that we stop the spread or contain the spread of COVID-19 so right, like I mean I understand his perspective his hands are tied we can't do much about it until there's enough herd immunity uh, to really uh, stop the spread or keep it at a extremely manageable point uh, because 
if we weren't managing this thing properly, well, we could have been a lot worse. We're still pretty worse right now, but relative to other countries, we're in we're relatively good. And I'm kind of using that term loosely, but if you, as I said before, if you compare it to other countries, we're doing a lot better. And more elaboration. Despite Ontario's vaccine supply ramp up and use eligible to book a vaccine appointment by June, ministries required all school boards to limit schedules to two in person classes a week, which for the TSP results in a quad restaurant mall to limit student student contacts. And. And this is just more elaboration on Ryan Bird trying to, you know, trying to state that the TDSB is trying to investigate and and uh, trying to develop new policies and ways of improvement. Now, and this is the end of the uh, article now. Before, I don't want to make this video too long, but... This is just the surface of the iceberg. I may make a follow-up video updating you uh, guys all on the situation. But for now, that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.